Hi, welcome to my page, Kenya's Creative Plans. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm going to do a one-handed flip through of my Erin Condren Life Planner. It is one of the first, basically the first planners that I encountered when I got into the planner community, if you will. And it's an 18-month calendar. I'm sorry, 18-month planner. And, um... Yeah, it's just one of the first ones I saw, and uh, it, this is not the cover that it came with, obviously, because these just came out. This is one of the the artist collab, um, black artist collab with Erin Condren. I don't have, uh, let me see if I have a, um, I might have... Yes, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I do because I actually pulled out some other ones. So, this one is by this young lady. Take a screenshot. Oh, gosh, is it focused? Okay, just in case it's not. Her name is Perrin Ford at P-E-R-R-Y-N-R-Y-A-N. -R -R but obviously, you can get this from the Erin Condren uh, site herself. But just so you know who, who it is in the video. There you go. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get through it. I'm just doing a flip through until um, uh, last week because I have not done my plan yet for this week. I know it's already Tuesday. <sighs> what am I waiting for? So, but whatever the case, here we go. So... And stay through to the end and I will show you some other some other covers that I have that I have here so this is the inside of all of the covers it has a dry erase um, and I actually used um, some Erin Condren uh, markers dry erase markers wet erase dry erase I'm, I can't even remember but they're Erin Condren and this came in a little packet that I picked up from Marshalls, actually. Um, but obviously, you can find them different places. Uh, so, this is just, um, this is, see, it's not coming off it's so easy. But it will come off if you wipe it off, like with the wipe or whatever. So, and then this is a vellum page that, be careful because I was using some other dry erase markers at first and I guess it was there for so long and it kind of bled to my vellum. Not happy about that. So whatever the case, be careful with your vellum page because it's so pretty. And of course, the ever popular name your planner page. <laughs> Whose planner is this? And then it comes with these beautiful pages, just some just a little um encouragement have enough courage to start and enough courage enough heart to finish then it has the um the two years on two pages 2020 well it started at july 2020 and then hits march 2021 so then this one will be april to december so i am tracking just a few things um on this to just look at it at a glance and um yeah then it has this um new beginnings new mindset new focus new start new intentions new results so i decided to just kind of break this down and did something differently i was seeing you know trying to get inspiration when i first started and i was seeing people use this as the months because it's obviously 12 right but i didn't want to do it like that because i just figured i would just put that information near the month because it has a page before the month starts or whatever so let's see it is i just i wrote uh health and fitness intellectual life emotional life character parenting social life financial life marriage uh career life quality of life spiritual life and life vision and just the things that i kind of aspire to do in those areas of my life so that is what i did for these that first page and that's only here it doesn't come throughout the book so and then when i first started i was doing something on my own as well and just kind of doing a reflection 
and I just did like most proud of, of achieving like a 30 day review balanced ambition rewards for achievement milestones new habit last quarter feelings things like that just to kind of check in with myself um nothing wrong with checking in with yourself and just trying to see how you're doing right and then of course july starts and i'll do i'll be silent unless i feel like i have something to say <laughs> through the pages So at the beginning of every month, once you once you go past the month on two pages, it has a blank page and then it has like a a, a currently, I guess if you will, and it has the you know, but it has the box here and then it has another box. So how I used uh, this, and I'm not still doing it now, but. I was I did um, more habit learning, giving back, health, relationships, adventure. I was I'm not doing that anymore. It's just I find it's just it just becomes too much. You'll know what works for you once you get into it. Um, but I like to do like what I want for this month here. I like to set my intentions here. I kind of do a set, setting intentions. I do a favorite quote and I do a brain dump and I am still doing that um, even six months later because it's been about six months now. So here we are with the actual week. So, so this is just the purely entertainment. And it is so funny to see um, because this was like the very first spread that I ever did. And it's just like, oh, ain't she so cute? <laughs> so don't judge me. Judge your mama. So yeah, it's just you, you know, I can see the growth. But you know, your planner is what you want it to be. It's it's your creative outlet. So um, even if it still looked like, you know, I feel like I've grown, but that's just me. But even if it still looked like this, it's still my information, my planner, my way of doing things. So don't think that you have to compare yourself to anybody, anybody's uh, chapters, their, their, the way they do things. You just admire them and move on. So this was a capital chic spread that I did. So, uh, yeah, very nice, huh? Another capital chic. That's actually who I also started started um, seeing first was capital chic right there in Michaels. And so, yeah. And so, see, that was the same way I did that. that. There's no, this is actually after the month ends, my bad. And this is um, just a 30-day review, the, like the 30-day review that I was doing. And so, let's see. So, this a new month starts. That's when I really, I, you know, I really wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the, the month on two pages. So, I just did whatever I felt like it. So, so it, it looks different throughout this whole <laughs> book. But anyway, that was uh, another capital chic. And then we have a little pink kimono paper from Etsy. Which I'm waiting for some of her stickers now. I can't wait to get them. Her ladies are so cute. Some more capital chic. And um, just a few other scattered little things here. Look, look at that. Okay, let's move on. I'm being silly so I was not I was not is there any spreads that you just like you're not in love with but hey it's done like I said it's yours and you move on I mean what you gonna do I ain't gonna take no stickers off so I don't know why I just wasn't in love with this but you know whatever and this is uh I forgot the name but this I got this spread it was like a kit I got from Michael's and it looks like it's by the same people who collabed with Capital Sheep because it's set up the same way. The little kit is set up the same way. So I just, you know, it was on sale. I just decided to try it. So now we are in September. And it's three birthdays in my family of five. My sons, he turned three this year. My other son turned five. And I turned younger you know older than what i was last year is what i turned so but yeah so i just really wanted to do it do it up 
you know, make it look kind of pretty. And then this is when I, I got a little lazy and didn't want to do like the reflection. So I just decided to do um like <laughs> a vision, a vision board or whatever. But I still wanted to do like my, you know, what I wanted for this month. My intentions, a quote and my a brain dump. So moving on, this was the spread I did for my three-year-old because I just wanted to do like a little theme. He loves Ryan. And yeah. And then this was, a, I did this on purpose. This Labor Day. And I felt like I'm not going to be defined by anybody telling me what I can and cannot wear after Labor Day. So I purposely did white. A white spread from Capital Chic um, for my Labor Day week. Yeah, that was just my thing. Look, attitude is everything. I wear what I want. Anyway, so this was my five-year-old. I did a, a spread for his birthday. He loves Hot Wheels. So, yeah, I just did a little spread for him. And then for moi, I did one for me for my birthday and I thought it was so pretty and I think it's so pretty and so colorful I just wanted to be you know colorful and um, you know I just wanted to show through you know like yeah it's my birthday I deserve this some more so see I did go back well, no, this is the 30-day review. I keep mixing it up, but this is the 30-day 30, 30 review. It's moving on. We're in October now. And so, you know, um, yeah, nothing but pr probably pure laziness, but I'll just use some big, um, bought some big, um, mommy stickers so that I can just kind of throw some on, on, you know, my, my monthly just to give it a little pizzazz because I wasn't even feeling nothing in did another little vision board did some more intentions and things like that quotes for my month and then ooh, get into the fun look at fall come through squad goals how cute and then this was just me wanting to use the I think it was the one of the two I don't know what to call it but it's like one of the really thick happy planner um sticker books it's like the pastels and then this is really I meant to do it in this week and I forgot but I wanted to dedicate a spread to breast cancer my mom is a seven year survivor and so I wanted to dedicate a spread to her and to just breast cancer and uh, that's why I have mom here so yep and I love pink so it's not doesn't hurt my eyes at all and then because I wasn't in the planner community if you will when everybody did their black lives matter spread but I was like I'm determined to still do one so I just did it when I felt like when I got around to it. So this was my Black Lives Matter spread. And this is a capital chic. And these are a few uh, um, Sandy's Paper Shack stickers and just a few wrong, wrong. I kind of wanted it to be kind of like simple, um, but still like, you know, yeah. Now we're going into November. More, um, more mommy stickers. Did a little bit of writing, and I think I just did that. So let me stop for it. I just actually wrote that in. So, yeah, I just did. Instead of a vision board, I just, I love this quote that I read from Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now. And so I just wrote a quote that I loved and just kind of like, didn't really do a whole lot, but I kind of um, just wanted to do that, you know. And then this again is my what I want for the month. Brain up a quote and intentions. 
And then this was another fall spread. Some pink kimono paper stickers. Love, love, love the simplicity. Sometimes I just really love the simplicity. And then other times I love all of this stuff. And this is a capital chic. Uh, another capital chic. And when Madame Pres El Presidente, El Capitan, Vice Capitan, uh, made history. So this was the, the election day, election week crazy week for everybody whether you was this way or that way it was still crazy and um yeah but i'm all about spreading love let's lift each other up but yeah this was dedicated to that capital chic made that sticker too um and then this is an indian ivy ink um um sticker book that I got from Michaels that she did a collab with Michaels and I love this spread because I love the black and white and gold accent and it's just like this fearless womanhood like gold raw I will try to remember to um link or post the the um different you know the like capital chic Indian Ivy uh, uh, pink come on. I'll try to remember to post that in there so that you know, just in case you're a newbie, you um, you have some people to start with, you know, that you can go research and stuff. And this one I did. Um, some of you may have already seen this, um, because I actually did a plan with me on this one, um, on one of my videos here. So if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. If you, you know, have nothing else to do for 45 to 50 minutes and you want to get your wine or your coffee and just watch me lay this whole situation out. Um, and you'll see it's a couple of different things that I wind up doing when, when I finished that video, some of the things weren't, were different. So this is like the fin finale, um, of what I actually did so yeah I wanted to do like the Black Friday theme and um, but yeah this was Thanksgiving week so yeah go check out that video if you want to um, watch the um, watch me plan it all out you know and lay it all out and then so I this is what I actually just started um, I want to because I really started getting into journaling and writing and things so I wanted to do something a little bit different that I didn't feel overwhelmed and anxiety about like I have to write all this stuff so I'm just gonna do like something that says what happened in November and I used um, my liner that's what I've been using a lot lately my mile liner markers that are dual tipped just to show you one and um, so I put what happened in November and I'm just doing some highlights, what sucked, what can you work on? So I'm going to see how I like doing that. And if it changes, it changes. If it doesn't, hey, you know. So now we come to December and yes, I have, didn't even put mommy stickers. I'm just going to write different things in my boxes that are happening and track my latest stuff. Okay. That's just what I feel like doing. There are no rules to this. So, um, I'm either going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do a vision board page, but I've already set up my, um, and look, we're on December 2nd already. I need to do it. My goals, intentions, a killer quote, and a brain dump. And I just kind of, you know, um, took a different route and put a little, um, sticker from Sandy's Paper Shack right here in the middle so it's just you know some washi tape to give it a little pizzazz but but that is all I haven't um I haven't planned for next week yet so I might do a plan with me um but since it's already like the middle of the week I don't know I might just throw it together and just do a plan with me next week or something so but let's jump to the to the back just because I am kind of doing a flip through of the whole thing so you can see um you know Erin Condren's um planner so say we are now done this ends in November 2021 so basically this ends in about a year and she has some notes and 
so you can do whatever you want to a keep in touch page that i think i'm going to change into a password keeper page i think that's what i'm going to do with this and then she has um, some 2022. So basically whatever you're planning, maybe some goal planning um, and these little columns here for 2022. Okay. And it comes with a few stickers. Stickers, 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 sticker tabs, and a perpetual calendar. And more dry erase. Hmm, sorry about that. So, um, I said I would show some of the different colors that I have for it. And this one was one that I um, that I um, custom uh, made. And it's just a word that I chose that I wanted to do. And this was like. I used my sorority colors for this one and um, so it's on the front only it's not on the back and uh, that's one and then this is another one of the black artist collabs that's that young lady so this is what's on the back of that one and I, I custom uh, made the colors because this is what color um, has there but you can you can custom um, make the colors that you want for this particular one uh, the the one on my cover of my other one you can't do that with but you could custom uh, customize why do I keep saying it? custom you can customize um, with some of them this was the original cover that I got from Eric Contra and I put my name at the bottom of all of them um, but this was the, my original cover. You are beautiful, capable, worthy. And then this, um, is actually a notebook, but I just wanted to show the, the cover because this is another one of the artists, um, here. So it's only like one that I didn't get. Oh, I don't know what, okay. So see, look, I'm glad I did get, get this because guess what? I got that one too. It, I guess it wasn't in a little um stack that i grabbed i got this one too but i actually got customized the color the color screen scheme like the background i did in a in a mint color because i just felt like doing something different since i already had this one is pink and that other one was kind of a pink so i just wanted to do something different but this one is this i didn't get this one that's the only one i didn't get but this i put on my Erin Condren um, notebook. And this is just a productivity notebook. So just a little bonus. It's just, this is what it looks like. Lines, lines, and then it has like a, a list. So that's it for that. And that's the back of it. And so that is all. Thank you so much for stopping by and coming to my channel and spending some time with me please like subscribe and stay tuned for more have a good rest of your day kenya's creative plans